Uh, and tonight, clubs making a comeback. Well, thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Ty Quinones. And I'm Trisha Keen. Several Las Vegas clubs and pools announcing they are reopening for business amid the loosening COVID-19 safety restrictions. Well, 13 Investigates reporter Joe Bartels right now is live near the strip with all the details. And Joe, these are certainly huge attractions for the area. Yeah, Todd, Trisha, these clubs and pools are big business for hotels and casinos. They bring in a ton of customers as well as a ton of cash. And all of that means some locals can finally start getting back to work. It's part of what Sin City is known for. <laughs> the booming nightlife business. COVID has crashed the party for months, but that's changing soon. I work with different nightclubs uh, and help them run their nightlife operations. Paul Nichols says the unprecedented pressure on clubs to close amid COVID concerns is loosening. The industry has been battered by layoffs, and it will take a while before most of the bartenders, servers, hosts, security, and staff can get back on the job. So I think there's, there's providing that, uh, that hope and that people can return to work. People can start, you know, uh, you know, doing what they love to do. On Tuesday, Hakkasan Group announced Omnium at Caesars Palace plans to reopen on March 5th with strict social distancing and rigorous cleaning plans in place. You know, these clubs are designed uh, with certain, you know, flow in mind, with security in mind, with spacing in mind, even where these tables are placed. They're all designed that way to ensure maximum safety. <music> The safety extends to the pools, too. The world-famous Wet Republic Ultra Pool Lounge at MGM Grand is set to open on March 5th. The venue will be an extension of the resort's current pool to help with anticipated summer crowds and social distancing. Reservations are required. And Liquid Pool Lounge at Aria is set to open on Friday, March 12th. A combination of health and safety protocols plus touchless menu systems and scannable QR codes will be deployed to keep guest contact to a minimum. I think day clubs, again, it makes perfect sense. I mean, they're outside, number one. You know, you have a breeze blowing, you have open air. Nichols says it will be far from business as usual, but still business nonetheless. The clubs and their customers represent millions upon millions of dollars for resort properties and part of the Las Vegas experience that keeps people coming from all over the world. Yeah, it sure does. This is all connected to the governor's directives, which took effect yesterday. Further capacity limit increases take effect on March 15th if all COVID-19 trends hold. Reporting live, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News. Yeah, we will see, Joe. Thank you for that.